Hello, this is Sam Simon, also known as Dementia Man, and this is my video blog that I'm going to say is for the week of October 1st, although it doesn't technically start until Tuesday. And this is going to be a bit of a dual uh, blog. You know, I was diagnosed with early stage Alzheimer's 20, in, in 2022. Today now is 2024. But back on October 1st, 2014, I began doing my blog about breast cancer because that's when I was beginning to do my performances and my blogs for my other earlier play called The Actual Dance. And it was the story of my journey as the care partner, love partner is what I, that's where I came up with the term. I was Susan, my wife now of 58 years, love partner. And it was her journey through breast cancer. And indeed, Susan was diagnosed with breast cancer in the year 2000. And during her treatment, I had been pulled aside by her doctors once they found a post mastectomy lump. And I was told to get ready. You know what I mean. You knew what they meant. And it took me quite a while. First of all, Susan is just fine. Although I still listen. What do I listen for? I still listen for the possibility that even now, 24 years later, it might return. Now, around 2014 or so, I started writing and well, actually, technically it was 2009 I started writing. My play was first performed in 2013. And then much later, I started working on the book version of that. What I wanted to do is honor Susan and also the dual roles. Dementia Man is about my journey with a terminal disease. But this isn't the first time. I was the care partner for my wife, Susan, who for a period of that, I was told, she was told that she wasn't going to survive it. But she did. So we have this unique circumstance where we each have been the patient and now the caregiver. Susan's the caregiver now. I'm now the patient. I'm going to go way back. 2014, a decade ago, October 1st, 2014. And I'm going to do a little bit about that blog and uh, repeat a bit of it and update it. I don't know if I'm going to do, I, I ended up doing a blog every day in October 2014. A new blog every day with, it was quite short, but it was an, a piece of advice and a resource and a prayer for Susan's survival and gratitude for her survival for that long. I want to echo that gratitude today. I still can't imagine what it would be like if I had lost her. And the actual dance is a metaphor for that moment. It imagined a, a ritual that I tell you, what, I'm going to stop because I'm already going back. So I tell you what, we're going to take a quick, just brief pause here, and we're going to go back to 2014. Hold on for a second. We're back, and lo and behold, this was my background in 2014. And that's Susan and I, the picture on the book of the story of the actual dance is of our wedding day on August 23rd, 1966. I referenced that in 
Dementia Man. And there is a whole full one hour play called The Axel Dance. But my experience in that time frame and learning of her diagnosis and then the actual went from everything's going to be fine, Sam, or don't worry, don't worry, to get ready, Sam. Now, one thing you might want to know, and I'll tell you now, is the idea that we, we both live in, in the genetics of our life history. Susan's mother, at the age of 50, or passed away from advanced breast cancer. Susan was 52 when she was diagnosed. And we were pretty sure, or at least I was, Susan, Susan never thought she would, Susan always thought she would beat it. She was determined. And I was ready for the same outcome. And I imagine Susan and I in a, liminal place, holding each other. I not just imagined, but experienced that when the news got really bad, when all of a sudden there's a lump in, in a post mastectomy lump in their breast, um, and they want us to immediately go to see the breast surgeon again, everybody's dark. I imagine Susan and I standing on a dance floor in a liminal place, holding each other, ready to dance the actual dance. It would be where we would be when that happened. We would be dancing to the music of our hearts, Unchained Melody, <laughs> and Susan would just disappear from my arms. We'd be surrounded by everyone we knew, loved, even folks from before us and maybe even by those yet to come. Because there is no time in that place. No beginning and no ending. It's infinity. Well, the good news, Susan is fine. She's here. And it's her turn. It's her turn in my seat as the care partner, as the man with early stage Alzheimer's. Hopefully, I can find many years to live with this disease as it slowly progresses. We're both now 79 years old. And six years ago at my diagnosis, diagnosis with mild cognitive impairment, the doctor said it could be five or 10 years. So maybe it'd be even longer. I am not progressing that fast. So we, we are going to live most important and meaningful life we can during this time with help and joy. And I'm working on the book of uh, Dementia Man. But I want to encourage everyone out there who, well, everyone, men and women, in October to really pay attention to breast cancer and check your cells, both men and women, you know, I looked it up when I wrote my first blog. And by the way, you can go to theactualdance.com and go to the blogs and you can go back to 2020, 2014 and see each day's blogs in October. I know you're not likely to do that, but out of curiosity, by the way, I also have a store there and um, you can buy Actual Dance t-shirts and um, coffee mugs and uh, the like. Um, but you can also get the book. You can also go on Amazon and get the book. And also you can support my work, whether you do it through the actualdance.com or dementiaman.com. Donations to this work are tax deductible. And for any donation of $100 or more, I will send a free signed copy of the actual dance, the book. And then we'll hopefully in this next year get a book about the, my journey with, uh, with this disease so far. I do want to throw out what I did 
in 2014 is I would throw out a statistic and data, and I thought it would be interesting to compare at least one piece of data. So on October 1st, 2014, the data mark I, I wrote about was how many women would be di diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014. And the answer to that is 297,000, plus or minus. Now, 10 years later, in 2024, there will be 310,000 women, plus or minus, being diagnosed with breast cancer. And about, interestingly, the same number of men, around 2,800. It's interesting that the rate of diagnosis, and that may be due to more people, finer diagnostic uh, technology and uh, more people getting checked. So that might be a good thing because if you're diagnosed earlier, you're going to get treatment. And in breast cancer, there's a pretty high likelihood, higher than it used to be, of surviving uh, that. We're still working for that, but I, I'm also an advocate for those with um, cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's. If you think you've got a memory issue, go get it checked out. Because we're in some ways behind the curve, but heading in the same direction of coming up with techniques and medicines to extend life um, lifetime with the disease hoping for one day with um, a cure. So that's my brief, but interesting, intersectional um, podcast for the week of October 1st. DementiaMan.com, uh, I urge you to check that out to see if and when I'm gonna be in your neighborhood. I urge you to uh, consider donating, whether you donate to Dementia Man or in honor of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you can do either one. Gifts of $100 or more will get a free copy or get a copy of the actual dance signed. And you will be helping me to bring this play, Dementia Man, and my work around helping to raise awareness of breast cancer as well uh, forward. Um, so there you go, and wishing everyone a healthy, um, well, you know something? This is the beginning of the Jewish high holidays, and I'm Jewish. So I will say Shana Tova, Happy New Year to those who uh, are Jewish, and um, wishing everyone to be aware, whether it's in Breast Cancer Awareness Month or, you know, November is going to be Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Be aware, get checked out, stay healthy by, by being active in your own uh, risk profiles and diseases. Thank you very much.